guys, how's it going? It's that nerd Ryan here, and today we will be reviewing the Star Wars The Black Series uh, Luke Skywalker, Skywalker Strikes figure. This is something that I've kind of been holding out on getting, um, just because, I mean, technically you already, got the, you already get the figure in the old red wave of the Black Series. However, it was kind of terrible <laughs> of a figure. Um, this one did step it up, but I didn't think the uh, $40 price point was worth it. However, I did find it today for 15 brand spanking new, so that's what we're going to do. So let's look at the back really quick. It says, Luke Skywalker, Skywalker Strikes. Luke Skywalker and the ragtag rebel oppo rebels opposing the Galactic Empire are fresh off the biggest victory so far, the destruction of the masses of Death Star. But the Empire's not toppled yet. When a rebel assault goes wrong, Han and Leia must think fast and make their escape while Luke comes face to face with Darth Vader in an, the explosive aftermath. A humbled Luke returns to Tatooine to learn about his mentor, Obi-Wan Kenobi. So this is from the original run of the uh, canon, canonical Star Wars series. Let's open this up and show this off. So really nice in the box and everything. We got a lot of stuff that we're going to be looking at and the face is so much better. So let's take it all out and check it all out. All right, so here's Luke in all his glory with all his uh, extra pieces. So I'll explain the extra pieces really quick. And we're not going to compare them to the old one. I'll do that on my Instagram. So make sure you follow me on there. But uh, we are going to compare him to Dagobah Luke. Uh, just because that's the easiest one for me to grab right now. That's also the closest to his age at the time. So we have his lightsaber, we have a blaster effect that can dodge, which is a very nice piece. Uh, we have his blaster, we have his metal, and then we also have the helmet with the blast shield down for training. We got the training droid, and we also have right here Obi-Wan's case along with Obi-Wan's handwritten memoirs, <laughs> which is always so funny to me. And actually, there is something on the front here in Orabesh, which is pretty cool. And there's also Orabesh on there. Um, but yeah, so let's measure them out, and then we'll do articulation. And then we can rank this figure. So his height is at like five and a half inches. Let's bring on... Dagobah training Luke. So yeah, they are the same height, which is great. And <clears throat> their faces do look similar enough to where there can be a difference of a few years. But yeah. So with all the accessories and everything, we're going to take off the lightsaber and the blaster effect, as well as the medallion here, just to show off the articulation. So... Head can go 360, up and down. Arm can go around and up. Same with this side. And then you could also bend the elbow and twist the hand around. Hand does not really go side to side. Torso twists. Legs can go about this far. The jacket is actually kind of limiting, but then you can also bend the knees this far and the legs can pose very little but yeah so with this figure you're really kind of I feel like it's kind of a apology for the original figure just because you get so little with it you don't even get a lightsaber um, and the face was just got awful but they really improved on this so I for almost forgot to give you a 360 of that um, but yeah, he's just phenomenal with all the accessories and the looks and everything. This is really the ultimate Luke Skywalker, especially a comic accurate Luke Skywalker. I mean, we're getting one more soon with the uh, Legends Luke, as I like to call it. But yeah, so I definitely give this figure a 9 out of 10. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow me on all my social media down below. And it's that nerd Ryan telling you to have a great